Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about visually significant floaters and one way to get rid of them. So most of us have experienced floaters at some level and some of them can be noticeable, some of them really aren't noticeable, and some of them can be extremely noticeable, especially for certain patients. There is a newer procedure called a limited vitrectomy. Now, vitrectomies have been long, around for a long time. Before we get into that, let's talk about what is the vitreous, where the floaters are. It's the large middle part of the eye that is a gelatinous substance, and it should be clear so that light can easily get to the retina. But the problem is, is when these particles inside the vitreous float close to the retina, the light coming in casts a shadow of them on the retina, and that's what you see as floaters. So some people have floaters much more than others, and there can be certain reasons for them. Whether they've had something called a posterior vitreal detachment, or they may have something called asteroid hyalosis, which you have calcium deposits inside the vitreous. In these cases, the floaters can be really, really problematic. And there really wasn't a lot to do because a true complete vitrectomy is a big deal and the risk of retinal detachments are higher, cataracts are gonna come on within a year. It was too risky to do a complete vitrectomy for floaters in the past. As a matter of fact, it still is because they don't do a complete vitrectomy for floaters now. They do something called a limited vitrectomy where they take out part of the vitreous. Now, if you haven't had cataract surgery, they will take out more of the posterior vitreous and leave an anterior four, three to four millimeters of vitreous up against the lens so that if you have had, um, if you haven't had cataracts, the antioxidants in the front of the vitreous give the nutrition to the lens. So we don't want to see um, too much of that anterior vitreous taken away because a cataract will form probably within a year. So in a limited vitrectomy, they take out really just the vitreous along the visual axis, the central part. And then they replace that vitreous centrally with a silicone gel, which gives you a completely clear visual axis and it works amazingly well. So I'm gonna show you, this is a patient of mine who back in 2018 had asteroid hyalosis in her left eye, not her right, kind of crazy. And it was so visually significant that when I looked through, she had already had cataract surgery, so I don't have to worry about the um, anterior vitreous. But when I looked through her lens in the front of the eye, you could see a cross-like uh, glob of uh, the calcium deposits from the asteroid hyalosis. And this is what it looks like, which is really crazy. And then this is an image of her retina with the asteroid hyalosis. And she went and had the limited vitrectomy done, and complaints are gone. Um, she would complain about this glob in her vision that could not clear it up refractively with, with glasses, of course, because that's what it looked like. And she is very happy. Um, it is not a small uh, um, procedure to think, oh, I'm just going to go have one of those done and see if I can get rid of a couple of floaters. No. We need you to be really visually significant. The surgeon won't do it if, if it's not incredibly problematic, which it was for her. And she's very happy and it worked out really well. So this is what it's like to have a limited vitrectomy done to remove floaters. And I hope that was helpful. Any questions, put them down below. Until next time, take care.